The clock is ticking for students to head back to class, but some schools are still struggling to find teachers to fill vacancies caused partly by the pandemic. Local 10's Hot Savella is in Fort Lauderdale with more. A week from the beginning of schools and both counties are still dealing with teacher vacancies. Here in Broward, the district has been aggressive when it comes to recruitment, holding a job fair just two weeks ago. But when it comes to classroom teachers, they still need 148 teachers. Take into consideration we have over 15,000 teachers. We're doing pretty good, but we're not done yet. Uh, we have a week to go. Our goal is to have a highly qualified individual in front of every student in every classroom. The superintendent says recruiting is harder these days. In addition to low pay, teachers are having to deal with outside stressors like new laws. One example, what has become known as the don't say gay law. That and many other mandates that are putting restraints on teachers that they can't speak truth to history, they can't, they can't teach authentically and they're just being scrutinized and just demoralized. Teachers Union President Anna Fusco also tells me Part of the problem in Broward is that new teachers who are in probation are often quickly let go without trying to place them in different schools. Let's have a conversation, see why there wasn't a good fit, and let's move them to another school. So let's talk about numbers in Miami-Dade. A spokesperson there tells me they have 224 teacher vacancies as of today. The district has 550 new teachers. They have a total of more than 17,000 teachers. Last week, the superintendent in Miami-Dade told us the issue of teacher recruitment is not a new one. But truly, if you really think about it, it's about retention. We want to make sure that the teachers that we've hired, we're able to keep them. And so the superintendent goes on to say that retention only works when you have proper training. And let's talk about training because here in Broward County, the teachers union is actually sending out documentation to teachers on how to deal with this infamous, this controversial don't say gay bill. If you want to see what these documents look like, you can go to local10.com. You will find them there. We're now reporting live from Fort Lauderdale. I'm Hatsabella, Local 10 News. Okay.